Hey y'all, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, place lash extensions, the different ways that you can, there's placement, top, side, bottom, lash wrapping as well. So first placement that I'm going to do is going to be on the side. I always like to come in from underneath personally. Especially when the lashes start to get full, if you come in from the top, you're going to get the glue that you have on the bottom of this extension on the other lash extensions. So I personally like to always go from underneath. Now I have glue on my lash extension. Now here I'm going to place it on the left side and I'm going to wiggle it into the, the natural lash so that it can lash wrap, hold my tweezer a little bit to make sure it attaches. And that's how I personally go in from the left side. But again, I always go in from underneath. Now I'm gonna show you how I lash wrap from the top. Again, it's not my preference, but it is possible if you like it. And sometimes, depending on that one natural lash, you'll have to do different type of placements. Like in one person, you're not always gonna do the same type of placement. It's always gonna be different depending on how the natural, the natural lash is growing, stuff like that. So when you do placement on top, you always want to make sure you get the, well, always, right? You want to make sure that you get the extension fully secured to the natural lash. However, when you place on top, especially if you're using like a D-curl lash, it's really easy to get that tip of that extension not fully secured to the natural lash. So you just want to make sure you always kind of like push in a little bit to make sure. And then you want to go from underneath to lift it to make sure that that full base of extension is fully stuck on that natural lash. So I always like to push up on the natural lash with the extension to make sure that tip of that um, extension is stuck fully to the natural lash. So that's top placement. Again, it's not my preference. I personally, my favorite is underneath the natural lash, which I'm about to show you now. So again, I go from underneath and then I wrap from underneath. It doesn't go on the side, anything like that. So here I am underneath the, the natural lash. I push up so I can get that lash wrap, hold position for a little bit, and now it's wrapped. So that's underneath placement. So there's side, top, underneath. I'll do the right side so you can see that as well. And again, there's no right or wrong way to place as long as you're getting the extension fully secured and wrapped around that natural lash there's no right or wrong way you'll get good retention either way you just need to make sure it's fully secure so for this one just gonna come to the side push in there a little bit get that lash wrap going hold it pull out to the side and then and then redirect Depending on your glue and how fast it dries will depend on how quick it stays. But yeah, that's the four different ways you can lash wrap and attach extensions to the natural lash.